What's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's gonna be a really quick intro but obviously by the thumbnail you can tell this is not a fishing video this is a hunting video and judging by the thumbnail you probably could tell that there are going to be dead animals in this video and i don't really shy away from that so if this is not your cup of tea i totally understand but just don't watch the video okay because i don't really shy away from it either um and this was really kind of really exciting for me because it's been a while since i shot a deer spoiler alert um but like i said it's not, i know it's not for everybody so uh, if you don't want to watch you know, I'm not going to feel offended, just don't, alright? New fishing videos will be coming soon. I hope you guys enjoy. What's up, guys? I obviously don't do a ton of hunting content, just because I kind of suck at it, but I want to record this. I think I just smoked an ice buck. Um, <clears throat> I just shot, I've shot very little deer before, one doe a couple years ago, so uh, it's, still, it's still really exciting for me, but I kind of wanted to explain how it happened because it was... It was a really, really cool experience. Right now, I'm just kind of giving the, hopefully giving the deer some time to drop. I'm going to go down and check to check for blood here in a, probably four, five or six minutes. But like I said, I just wanted to kind of kind of go through how it happened because it was, it was unbelievable. It was so cool. So I'm watching this kind of low area swamp-ish. Kind of, there's a river down there. And I heard a deer running over on this side. And I kind of saw him right over here, and I saw he was like a smaller buck, like a, maybe a four-ish pointer. And I saw him running here, but he just kept out of sight, and he was running pretty quick. And he probably got to this thick area of trees right here, and I got my grunt call out, and I grunted a few times. And I heard them coming back, and right here, onto the right side of this, these trees, where it kind of clears up, I saw that there was a doe that came through first, and she ran all the way up this hill. And the spike kind of stopped right behind these trees right here. So I could kind of see his tail flicking, but I didn't have a shot at him. And so I thought about turning to try to shoot with that doe, because I have a doe for right here. But by that time, I would have. I mean, she was just beyond these small trees right here, probably 15, 20 feet from me. And she had already locked right in on me. So I realized I had no choice but to, because by the time I turned to shoot at her, she'd be gone. So I kept my bee right on the, that tree right there where I knew he was hiding behind. And she, she over here, she blew and took off that way. I knew he was going to follow, I just was hoping he wouldn't be quite as spooked as she was. And he came out into this clearing, trotting, trotting, not super fast. And right when he got to the other, the edge of these trees right here, I kind of bleated at him to try to get him to stop. And right in this clearing, this smaller clearing here between these thin trees is where, I, where he kind of stopped. And I didn't see his head, I, I'm assuming he looked back at me, but he stopped and gave me just enough time to get a shot off. <laughs> And he took off that way, and I watched his shoulder, his front shoulder, hunch down. So I think I got him in the boiler room. If anything, it might have been a low shot, but this is about five minutes or so ago, so I'm going to let him hopefully lay down as long as I put a good shot into him. But here in a few minutes, I'll go down and check for blood. I'm hoping to record a little bit of that, so hopefully we have some good news here in a few minutes. Just to hopefully help you find a blood trail. My dad came and met up with me. He's going to go down to where I think I shot it. And I'm going to give a whistle, and so hopefully he'll be able to find the blood trail, and we can go down and track it together. But, like I said, he was he was here, went left, kind of in line with Phil, and then he went left, got behind these trees, and right when he hit this little clearing right here, I bleated at him. I bleated at him right here, and he stopped somewhere between kind of that left tree, that smaller tree, and this clump right here. He stopped somewhere in there, and that's when I shot. And I saw him take off that way. So we'll see. I don't remember exactly where it was, but... Hey, buddy. Yeah. He didn't go very far, guys. He went probably, what do you think, probably... Yeah. yeah. He didn't go far. We went down there and pretty much right away found really good blood. And Well, here he is. Clearly I did something right, finally. That is going to do it for the video today, guys. Obviously, there wasn't a ton going on. I didn't record much just because I think I mentioned it um, in the woods this morning right after I shot the deer, but I just don't have I just don't have a lot of confidence uh, in hunting, so I really just try to focus on kind of doing the right things. 
Um, fishing is more kind of second nature to me at this point. I've done it a lot more, so it's a lot easier for me to just strap a GoPro on and, and kind of just do my normal thing. But hunting is definitely a different animal for me. I don't know if I ended up putting anything in the kind of the video that I took of us putting deer up on the scale, but it weighed about 130, 132, I think was the actual number. Uh, it was tough to tell because tell it was one of those old analog scales. It wasn't digital or anything. Um, but that's my first buck ever and my first deer in a long time. Like I said, I don't hunt a ton and that's mostly because I just haven't had a lot of luck and experience hunting. So it's been kind of a drag. I can count the amount of deer I've seen on two hands in my whole hunting career the last 10, 12 years or so. Uh, and I could tell you every time I've had a half decent shot at a deer on one hand. So I just haven't seen a lot, but I've seen a lot of deer this year. So I've been a little more motivated to be in the woods and clearly it paid off. I wasn't even in there that long today. It was, I went in around eight and I shot that deer about 9.45, 9.50, so less than two hours today. But I just wanted to share that story with you guys because it was it was just unbelievable the way everything played out. Um, if you guys want to see more hunting stuff, let me know. My dad and I were talking about bringing this deer to a processor and having them cut it up just to save us kind of the time and the effort on it. But my dad processes the deer all the time and I'll usually go help him uh, just kind of be the, the helper. If that's something you guys want to see, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to just kind of change his mind. We, he'd be happy to process it and we could record it and kind of go through the steps, at least his steps, because obviously everyone does it a little differently. And then I also thought at the end of the whitetail season, I thought about going out with maybe cousin Nathan or something like that and just doing some squirrel hunting for fun. Um, that's a little more low key, a little easier to record. But yeah, let me know if you guys want to see some more hunting stuff. I'm putting together a fishing recap for the year 2021. That probably will be the next video, which won't be till at the end of December. You'll see this. I may do like a squirrel hunting video, who knows? And then if we get some really cold weather going on, you may see an early ice fishing video like I was able to last year. Last year, I think I was on the ice mid-December, early, kind of early December, like around the 10th or 12th. Um, so if we get some really cold weather going on, I may be able to pull that off as well. But it's all up to, up to the weather, not really up to me. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And whatever the next video is, I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Later.